I got invited to a secret festival that happens at Bombay Beach, California. And it's like a secret. You, they don't release the dates. It's only by invite. How long you been living out here? 14 years. I'm off the grid and no strings attached at this house. The options were I could stay home or go to a lawless town to a secret art festival in the middle of the desert by an abandoned city next to the world's largest inland man-made lake that is also dying. Let's either stay home or go to that. So I think this adventure should be great. into Salton City. Let's see what they say. There's a firework show happening in like 10 minutes behind us here by the Salton Sea. Think of uh, this thing so far. It's Just amazing. It is amazing. I, I've never known of it. The, there's energy here. The energy alone, the vibe, the vibration, phenomenal. I mean, it's unexplainable. You, you feel it. Yeah. You feel alive. Yeah, getting away from society. You know? Yes. going on at the circus.
This guy was shooting fireworks out of his truck, bro. That's crazy out here. Oh, there's like a whole circus show about to happen. That was hilarious. When the fire starts to burn. That's sick. Well, everybody comes together and everybody we donate and then, you know, whatever we fundraise and shit like that. We're so bright. Yeah, they did. Going there or what? Yeah, we're gonna go in there. Oh. Check it out. And this is another DJ right here. Follow the music. That's crazy. It's literally underground. That's a real desert underground. We were literally underground. There was like music playing. That's a good concept. I think I want to do that. <laughs> desert underground. Literally underground. No? It's all good? <laughs> okay.
to a secret compound the people were not here they're partying back at the the main area but we drove on a place where only off-road vehicles could get here from it's a private location we can't really record it's a private area i guess some really rich people have their own setup but they're over there partying so maybe we'll come back later tonight pretty cool pretty cool experience a pull for exercising yeah. You hungry? Little. <laughs> Gracias. You got tired of everybody bullshit in the world and everybody move the fuck out here, you know what I mean? Because all the people, they want to live the fuck out here. I don't want to move out here. We're TJ Fashion and Taquiza for all these events. We have brinkolinas, toro mecánico, we have mantelería. Estamos aquí ahorita en Bombay Beach. Estamos invitados, lo estamos invitando, vénganse para acá. Aquí estamos de fiesta. You know when the Trump is gone, like a child that she's going to sound crazy. Oh my crazy. God, I know that one. Da -na, oh my God. Da -na, na -na, na -na. Like, like Lil oh. Uzi, Lil Uzi. And I thought I could go see, but I'm going to go see Lil Uzi. I haven't. We haven't seen him since 2015, 16. But I, he performed as a heart. I never seen him. Yeah, the old Sahara tent. I didn't see it that time. And then. he played at 3 p.m. when he oh, was in that place. Oh, shit. Yeah. But nah, there's so much geography and there's so much shit out here. The stagecoach you used to go through here. The Wells Fargo shit? Yeah. There's tracks back there. You go that way and there's military. They tell you, they came in a helicopter and they tell you, we are allowed to use legal force and they shoot in the air. And I'm just fishing over the, the canal. There's some shit back there that may be happening, but... This is um, this you, town. You, UFO test or what? Yeah, fuck. I don't know. You hear bombs exploding and you hear your windows shake over here sometimes. So where are we at right now? What is this event? What is what is it? This is this is one of the last places you could come and have fun. Shit, I got a stripper pole in my living room. <laughs> 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 but this is a town where you come out here and you party. You don't have to pick up your trash if you don't want to for the next day. Just shit. You want rules? Go over there to Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but don't don't throw trash in the floor, probably. Uh, yeah. No, clean it up. Yeah, but clean it up clean later. Yeah, clean it up. Uh, but uh, us people out here, I play the music. How long you been living out here? Fourteen years. Fourteen years? Yeah. And what what made you move? What made you decide to move all the way out here? I got tired of people. I wanted to live a little free. I'm off the grid and no strings attached at this house. It grabs you, this town grabs you. And the people around here, we're all nice. 
Come on. Come on, son. I ain't got a lot. I have my bad days. <laughs> Well, everybody does. So, what is this weekend? What uh, what, is, what is the the Bombay Beach Banico or bani? the Banali? Banali. It's art. It's art. Hi, it, it's it? freedom out here. Is it's freedom. It, is it open for anybody? No, 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 no. Try to move out here, but but uh, Bombay Beach will eat you up. It's hard to life over here. It's hot most of the time. It's muggy. Sometimes we get the smell of the fish because the air's blowing this way. But tell me if I leave from here, I'm gonna die here. Here you could die of old age. You don't die of a gunshot or anything out here. Everybody I've known out here has died of natural cause and old age here. Or the guys that kill themselves, but they don't come. Because <laughs> that's a bad thing out here. A lot of people have suicide themselves out here. No, it's true. This is 14 years of me learning what it is to be out here. Bombay Beach, you come out here because you come out here to see people, what they want to do with their houses. It's people that want to express themselves with like, like art, you know? Look at my house. I put a volleyball court out in front of my house because I live in a town that's called Bombay Beach. It has beach in it, right? Yeah. What do you do at a beach? Play volleyball. You play volleyball. <laughs> you have the music loud. You have fun. Why move into a town that's called Bombay Beach and you want, people can't play the music loud. People can't have fun. You know, fuck, be a little wild. Do, do people ever complain because oh, yeah, it's I got too the, loud? I got the people, I got the cops called on me twice yesterday. <laughs> For what did you do? Or what? I had loud music, but I had girls partying over there and I, had, I tried to get them over here and they came over here for breakfast with the loud music. So it worked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys are telling me on my day in Bombay Beach shit. This is what I go through every day. <laughs> <laughs> so there's people coming every day, every yeah. day? Yeah, Just all day. There's people cruising around in different cars all year round. A lot of tourists. Last, you know, this is kind of like the last resort. This is, a, this is and, and this is a known fact. This is the lowest point in California. We are 228 feet below sea level here. And the Salton Sea, it's... Uh... It's right over that berm. If that berm wasn't there, we would be in water. But there's volcanoes in here. Yeah. We could go five miles right here, and I'll take you to some mud pits. Tell them about yeah. the moving volcano, the one that... Yeah, the mud pit. The mud, the pit mud volcano. They called it a mud volcano. The, the... No, it's taking down the street. Across that the street road. is literally falling into that thing. So and it's right did, here down the street. They the road around it and they make yeah. the cars Even go around the whole thing now. So it's off the, the volcano? Yeah. yeah. No, it's a There's a volcano, volcano in the nature. That's crazy. It just it erupted, I think, 100 years ago. That's the most recent one. And that's that ash came out and there was a, a mudslide. They said something like that somewhere. It wasn't a big, big thing, but... <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I that? looked it up on the internet. <laughs> you guys got internet out here? Our phones. But you ain't got nothing reliable. This is this is this is Bombay Beach. Who's the most interesting person that you've met here? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I moved here and I met myself. Uh, shit. You found I, yourself, huh, I found myself you here. Come on here and you awesome. find yourself. It's hard to explain, but that's how I feel. That's most important. And um, hey, it was me. <laughs> well, who, who else am I supposed to say? If you knew this uh, when you were younger, would you have moved here before? Like that? Like long I ago? wish I was born here. <laughs> I would have got a, <laughs> name, a street name right after me. Uh, people are dying, and they've been here when they're born. They get a street name right after. Me. East Street turned into Ernie Street. So there's people that have like families and generations here. Oh yeah. Yep. A lot. There's some, there's some deep roots here. So back when it was actually a booming town, when people actually came to the... When the movie starts actually bought property here, yeah. Shit, there's still houses. We still find expensive boats just sitting there brand new. And, well, not no more. Everything's fucking bought out. But last year, they pulled out two little boats that were custom made of wood, and they were in the shed. So what happened to this town? Or, or why did it get to be so run down? Or what happened? I think they, they fucked it up when they said in like an 85, don't eat the fish because it's, uh, that's what I think. 
because I I I I, I live here. You got another store here. Oh, shit. Now we got lithium coming out of our fucking water. What the hell? Try to buy us out. Yeah, they try to buy everybody out and everybody right here still the I ground. think IDD, I, the... Edison for, Company, no? Or IDD? I, somebody, uh, yeah. They they bought the whole the thing. We're the last people that have access to a water right there. Oh, they, so the, the electric company wanted to buy the, all the houses. Uh, Just, they own everything. Yeah. They own, the state park goes owned from here that way, which is still government. But right here, we're the last ones right here. That's it. Eventually, yeah, all these people are gonna die, and it's gonna be a new generation. There was a nude party like 14 years ago down the street. A nude party? Yeah, yeah. In order, in order to go over that berm, you had to leave your clothes on this side of the berm. And who told you to take off your clothes, Alan? Oh, that's putting people up on, on show right there. <laughs> hey, just put it this way, there was flashing lights over there and they told us that. They told us in order to get over there on the other side. <laughs> the and, aliens and, or what? You know, I don't know. Shit. You, you got on the other side and there was a party going on, but there was it was nude everything. And that was two weeks when I moved here. Two weeks in, you're like, I'm never leaving. Oh, I fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't touched a girl here on this beach. I import my women. <laughs> you import I'm your... scared. I'm scared. This is a small town. There's only 395 people that live in this town. The sign on the side of the road, they'll tell you 395 people only live in this town. Whether we like it or not, I'm going to be your neighbor and I'm the one that you wake up and you see across the street. Whether you hate me or you like me, I'm still your neighbor. We're just here chilling and his neighbors just got here from out of town, right here in front. They got the golf cart off and someone took the golf cart. <laughs> no, it was the other one. <laughs> the other one, man. Somebody, he came out and he said, where's my golf cart going to? <laughs> Somebody took his golf cart. And That's good. Us. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's, there's some bad apples right now in town, but... It comes with the thing. How close is the, the closest, like, grocery store? Or what do you guys get, like? Oh, no, you got to go shopping for a whole week or a whole month ahead of time. Where do you guys go? I I like to visit my mom, so I go see her. When I go out there, or I make tamales. So now I've been making tamales. I got some good tamales I make. And you sell it here? Or? Oh, yeah, people order. Yeah. I, I stay busy. I got mama's recipe. Shit, I have a nice machine and I'm making money just sitting here. They say ice, and I haven't even advertised it yet. I'm just my neighbors. Yeah. And they all pitch in and hey, here's some donations. Yeah. Like barter system? Nah, people right here, we're all family. One way or another, we. Everyone we, we, each we, other we, Yeah, yeah. We, we're here for a reason. We have our fights, whatever. We have our arguments, whatever. But that's like most people, you know? And now that you live here, when you go back to town, how do you see regular civilization out there? Like well, regular, come on now, regular civilization. Let's talk about it. What, what? I go, I go out there, and yeah. this is what I see. I see people like this. Your whole life is passing them while they're seeing the screen. Me? When you come to my house, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna allow that no more. That's gonna be a rule. Leave your phone. You come to my house, you come to my house and party. You come to have a good time, not to be. Like. How many people are lose, go through life and they never saw past a screen? My grandkids don't come over here because there's a rule. I don't want to see them on the phone out here. That dude almost inspired me to come out here, move to, to the side. Society of people who just live with screens and we depend on screens if you're watching this video you're probably watching on your phone i'm walking towards the music i hear some music playing i already saw it oh, God, it. Oh, <laughs> the art What is going on?
Turtles is one of my favorite movies of all time. And the music that we were watching definitely has some role models vibes to it. Acrobatics and pyrotechnics and flipping and spinning. That was actually super sick. The music, of course, live instruments. Pinche acordeón con su tuba. Vamos a tocar unos corridazos, but you know, tuba follows us everywhere we go. Just drove 45 minutes home and just my overall takeaway from this, this experience in the desert, it was Everybody there was just there to disconnect from nature. Nobody was using phones for the most part. Um, there's no signal. Now we have people with Neuralink chips in their brain. And we also have people who are addicted to their phones 24 seven. So we just became these human hybrids. We already are, we already, our phones are an extension of us. But, I don't know, sometimes it, it makes you think, so let me know what you think, if you think it's too late for us, or there's still hope. Well, what do we do? Just get rid of smartphones? Just use, uh, bring back the flip phones? <laughs>